Hey everybody. Um, this video, I want to do a do an entry into a group build that started back on September the sixth. A um, couple of days ago, I was scrolling through, um, trying to get caught up on videos, um, which I'll never get caught up, but. Um, I came across a video, a couple of videos from uh, Leon over at Model Car 1589, and I saw that uh, he has started a lowrider group build. Um, and Leon, I don't know how I missed it uh, when you put it out the first time. Usually, you know, stuff like that really catches my eye because I really, you know, I really love the lowriders, and uh, so. What I'm doing today is throwing my hat into the ring for that uh, that group build, um, and want to say how much I appreciate Leon doing this. Cause uh, man, like I said, I just love low riders, um, and so this is the kit that we're gonna do. Let me bring it up here. I'm gonna I'll, I'll open the box here in just a minute and show you all of the all of the parts, but. Um, this is the uh, 62 Chevy Impala SS hardtop um, kit, and um, so you know I can't think of a a better car uh, f to you know that makes a better lowrider uh, than the the Impala, and especially the 62s and the 63s. So um, we're gonna do the we're gonna do the 62. Uh, and if you'll give me just a minute here to get the uh, to get the camera flipped around, we'll kind of real quick go through uh, the contents that are in the box. So you guys hang on for just a second. Okay, everybody. So let's get this uh, let's get this box opened up and take a look. Um, the box was not sealed, but I'm pretty sure everything on the inside uh, is sealed. Um, so we got our got our body and man this this body looks really really good um, you know we've got just a couple of seam lines but not much um, Ravel really did a they did a, a good good uh, molding and casting on this on this particular run I guess but um, yeah the body looks body looks really good so Set that off over there. Uh, we got our, there's our floor pan with our, you know, inner fenders. Um, just the underside there. And then, yeah, all of the bags are, well, they're not all sealed. Uh, but we'll uh, take some of this stuff out so we can see. So I got really, really nice detailed Door, door cards, um, interior cards, hood looks really good. Got a pretty well detailed uh, dashboard. Got our steering wheel, uh, sun visors, uh, hood hinges, steering column. So on that sprue, um, some more interior parts here. There's the, uh, there are the seats, front and back and the seat back, center console. So there's that. It's like here we got our radiator, radiator support, um, firewall, uh, suspension parts there. Uh, looks like that goes around the radiator. That's a radiator, sir. The fan surround, I mean. Um, got our uh, differential there battery shocks uh, washer fluid all of that good stuff so yeah um, next the uh, uh, mufflers and the uh, exhaust pipes uh, air cleaner cover springs uh, header covers wheel backs, drive shaft, so yeah. 
And then the last sprue in this little bag looks like is uh, some engine parts, engine halves. Uh, so I got our oil pan, uh, headers there, uh, fan, pulleys and belts. So, yeah, all most of the engine parts there. That's it for that bag, and then that's the the the, the uh, decals are, you know, not horrible, but they almost kind of look like they might have a little bit of water damage to them. So, not sure if we're going to be able to use them. Um, I guess these are for the seats which I won't be using those decals for the seats. I'm going to do something else with the seats. You got some, some pinstriping, which we probably won't be using. I'll do my own thing um, for that. So decal, most of these decals we probably won't, won't even try to use. Um, maybe the ones for the, like the, um, the gauges and the, uh, speedometer and all of that we might we might try to use but the rest of this stuff probably not um, got our suspension parts here got more suspension parts looks like maybe there's two different front suspensions and I'm assuming one is to make it sit lower than the other which um, to get it as low as I want it, I may have to do a little modification anyway, but uh, we'll see on that. Uh, it's got some more wheel backs there. There is our chassis and it's, you can see it's kind of molded, All a lot of it's molded together, molded in, but uh, we can work with that. Um, so there's that. Then we've got our clear, which I will we'll leave in the bag for now. We've got our chrome. Um, I'm going to open this chrome because I want to take a look at these. I want to take a look at these wheels, but uh, that's some pretty nice looking chrome. Um, so we've got our, looks like our, our wheels for the, if you want to go with the smaller tires, um, the white wall tires, um, we've got carburetors, we've got, uh, uh, looks like a chrome trim, our uh, front grill, more chrome trim here, um, wiper blades, door handles, all of that kind of stuff, license plates, all of that. So not a really good looking chrome on that um then we've got our um got more you know our, our rear is our rear bumper there um of course there's a some some chrome uh like a chrome air cleaner cover and all of that which i will probably lean more towards using we've got some spinners uh for the wheels um and then these are the if you want to use the um the larger, the larger, but uh, thinner wheels. Uh, it's pretty nice looking, pretty nice looking wheels. Um, not sure exactly what we're going to do uh, as far as wheels and tires go. I have some ideas, but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, and then, so we got a couple of sets of tires in here. Um, you've got the uh, kind of the smaller fatter tires uh, these can be done as white walls if you want to do white walls um, and then we've got the uh, the larger but uh, you know not quite so fat the thinner thinner tires um, and again I'm not real sure what I'm gonna do as far as that goes and then there is a couple of metal pins in here couple of metal pins uh, for the for the wheels so that is all of the those are all of the parts uh, for this one so I'm excited to get busy on the uh, on this lowrider group build um, it's gonna be a lot of fun and uh, be my I think only my second lowrider 
to build, um, but the first one came out, I think, pretty good. So hopefully this one will come out, come out half as good, if not better than the other one. But uh, we're gonna get this in the bath and get it ready to start, you know, putting some primer and putting some parts together. So we're gonna get started on that, uh, along with uh, finishing up our rust bucket uh, group build. Uh, that 41 Plymouth. So that's how the rest of my weekend is shaping up. So hope you all have a good rest of your weekend and we will see you all on the next update. You all take care. Talk to you later. Bye.